TELUS is installing new high-speed cellular antennas on telephone poles. These are not your average cell towers. They are close to homes. The media has been posting stories about how manufacturers have been testing 5G in various labs around the world since 2014. British Columbia is one of their living labs, which may explain the placement of these new E-Node-B antennas. TELUS not only has wireless cell phone service, but also wireless optic, television, and internet. And with their new vision of the smart home, they think people will want these services. Some people react to microwave radiation and do not like to be near strong wireless antennas. Homeowners near these new TELUS E-Node-B antennas are experiencing health effects and want to get the word out. Delta, Mission, White Rock, and Victoria, B.C. are areas that TELUS is testing these new antennas, and some have been there for over a year now. Concerned residents arranged for measurements and now have an idea of the radiation levels being emitted. According to the levels shown in this video footage, taken in September 2016, these emit a strong signal to the surrounding block of homes. According to the FCC in the U.S., they think 5G will be fast and require a very large amount of these antennas, since they send signals shorter distances, but at much higher speeds. In other words, in the old days, only homes right beside a cell tower were really concerned. But in years to come, if 5G follows the FCC announcement, E-Node-B antennas will be near almost every home and everyone's health will be affected more than it is today. Now that's from the back of that antenna. The big game changer is that 5G will use much higher frequency bands than previously thought viable for mobile broadband and other applications. Such millimeter wave signals have physical properties that are both a limitation and a strength. They tend to travel best in narrow and straight lines, and they do not go through physical objects as well. But brilliant engineers have developed new antennas that can aim and amplify signals. Now to make this work, five, the 5G build-out is going to be very infrastructure intensive, requiring massive deployment of small cells. I'm confident that the actions will lead to a cornucopia of unanticipated innovative uses and will generate tens of billions of dollars. TELUS says these are LTE advanced antennas running at 3.5 gigahertz frequency band with ultra wideband remote radio units. These 4G network boxes can be easily swapped with 5G for testing. People were skeptical about these being test sites, but from the way they are laid out, they sure do seem like the 5G description from the FCC announcement. They are close to homes and not far from the next antenna. Sure sounds like 5G. So at the moment, TELUS is trying to install more of these for the fastest 4G wireless networks. But don't forget, the company that makes these boxes are also the leader in 5G research and development. Are these tests of much higher frequencies going to cause far more serious health effects than the previous generations of wireless? Are people going to just sit there and take this? Many who have never spoken up before about wireless are now very concerned because like the smart meter wireless issue, that was on every home and could affect everyone. Some who did not feel any health effects prior to the smart meter installations, in fact, did develop a sensitivity to those levels of radiation emissions. The same thing is already happening with the E-Node B cellular antennas. TELUS and other wireless companies may say the future is friendly, but if your health is affected and you can't live peacefully in your own home, 
Talk to your neighbors. Talk to your city hall. And of course, your cellular company. Streets that have these antennas already are asking why they were never informed about it in advance and only learned about the antennas during the installations. In the future, industry will try to install more and more of these. There will be new frequencies that the FCC is now discussing and testing, and those levels could be higher than what is shown in this video. 5G is a dream for industry to do more things at a much faster rate. However, if the customers suddenly become far too sensitive to be around wireless any longer due to the massive jump in the frequencies and density levels causing industry to lose customers, both sides lose. Think about it, industry. Is 5G really necessary?